Former ANC member of parliament Feki Minto has refuted the allegation that Mama Winnie Madigizela Mandela killed Stompi Sebei. Mentor was addressing the memorial service of Mama Winnie in Cape Town. Former finance minister Trevor Manuel and former ANC spokesperson Zizi Godwa also spoke passionately about what the late ANC stalwart stood for. Winnie Mandela never killed Stompi Sebei. Winnie Mandela never plotted for the killing of Stompy Bay. Not a court of law, not the truth and the, 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 the TRC could link Mama Winnie Mandela directly to as having planned and orchestrated or instructed that Stompy should be killed. So it is a lie, it is a fallacy, it is an orchestration that has been perpetuated for decades. And it is a lie and a fabrication that the governing party, Mawa, M party or a, mem a mem member of, never bothered to debunk and to expose as an untruth. So let me digress with the matter that I find rather annoying. It relates to the restoration of the house to which, we sh to which was banished. House 802 in Patakashle, in Brantford. We're all aware that the restoration of the house as a museum was budgeted for a long time ago. And that project was never implemented. Now we are told by the former Premier of the Free State, Mr. Elias Belo Mahashule, that, as, that he has been working with the family since 2007. This is the same Premier who processed the approvals for the Estina degree, totaling some 220 million in two weeks. This is the same former Premier whose daughter is the beneficiary of a 130 million rand housing contract. But who now informs us that this minuscule project to restore the house to which our mother was banished has taken 11 years and can't get done. And even when he talks about, he says, well, everybody knows the money hasn't disappeared. Where is the money that was budgeted for? And even the numbers he talks about for the restoration of that very basic house, for the three million rand he talks about, what does he want to do? Does he want to gold plate the window frames? Does he want to put in a jacuzzi? Does he also want to air condition the house? No, that must remain that place of pain. It must be the place where we take our children and our public servants and remind them of the words of Madiba at his inauguration, never, never and never again. But if the motivation is not to break the intergenerational poverty and deprivation, if the motivation is not to forever end oppression and exploitation, if the motivation is self-enrichment, then you get the dilly-dallying that we're seeing at the moment. And we must call it out for what it is, and we must say no to it, and we must insist that that house at Brantford be a memory to the pain and suffering of Mamwini. There's a sadness hang hanging over, over us. And I'm finding even with people who weren't directly touched by all this that we lived through, they are touched by Mamwini's life. They are touched by her life because within her there is something about themselves. Within her, she has so many different facets that so many, especially women, relate to her completely. One of the teachers in Bloemfontein who, who wasn't an activist, but she sent me a note and she said, 
you know, she was so alone. She was so alone. She was a single mother. That she herself is a single mother, so I think she was relating to that. You know, this, this week um, and the next two weeks, I think, provides us an opportunity to, to reflect and to face the harshness of what we have lived through. The people who are running negative stories are talking negative about. We don't need to convince anybody about who Mama Winnie was. The millions of South Africans, including those gathered here, they know who Mama Winnie was. Those who run negative stories, they're hiding the fact that they don't want to talk about the brutality of apartheid against Mama Winnie. But there are lessons you must learn, both as a democratic government and a democratic state, from apartheid that we must never, we must never repeat. You must never and you can never ban people on the basis of their ideas. Because an idea will never die. A person may die, but an idea will never die. Nobody must be banned on the basis of his or her ideas. Whether we agree or not, that's neither nor here. But nobody must be banned on the basis of it. So there's a lot of what apartheid has done to Mama Winnie that we celebrate today.